Hey Geometry. So today we're going to get into section 7.5, parts of similar triangles. And um, these are special segments of similar triangles that are proportional. So it turns out that the angles um, in a uh, similar figures, all the angles would be the exact same angles. And all of the all, all of the segments you could draw that are the corresponding segments, not just the sides of the triangle, but are proportional as well. So um, we have, if two triangles are similar, by a scale of A to B, then the corresponding altitudes, so those are, we'll, we'll come over those here, those are like the heights of the triangle, that's a fancy word for the height of the triangle. Uh, the medians, medians, uh, and so that's if we go to like halfway along a side, uh, and angle, bisector, angle bisectors. So angle bisectors, uh, those are also have the same um, uh, ratio of similarity. And so those are proportional to those corresponding sides. So all the segments, and, and there are probably other ones we could come up with, but those are some of our interesting ones. So if two triangles are similar, the lengths of the corresponding altitudes uh, are proportional to the lengths of, uh, and these are corresponding sides. So just whatever that ratio is, whatever that scale factor is, they're going to match. So in this case, for example, um, I'm going to just put the example up here. Uh, example, um, AD over FJ, that ratio is going to match, for instance, AB over FG. Right. So I did that altitude over that altitude should match the same ratio of the sides, which would match the same thing as AC over FH should match the same thing as BC over GH and, and so on. So all those sides are proportional uh, and, the, and the altitude is proportional. Same thing, if two triangles have, are similar, the lengths of corresponding angle bisectors uh, are proportional to the lengths of, um, again, this should be corresponding sides. All right, it's got cut off. So, for example, and this kind of got messed up, um, if uh, we had this, it was true, then we would have LP over RT would match, for instance, KL over RQ. So LP over RT matches KL over RQ or QR. Um, doesn't matter. And we could also say LM over RS or MKM over uh, QS. So any of those would match the same proportion. And then the last one, um, if two triangles are similar, then the length of corresponding medians. And so a median is a line, a line that goes from one corner to the midpoint of the opposite side. So notice that these two sides are congruent. And then this one is, is um, congruent there. So if these are similar triangles, uh, they are um, the medians are proportional to the lengths of the corresponding sides. So, for example, uh, CD over dot YZ would match, we could pick any of them, AB, I'll just go straight across, over WX. So they would have those same proportions. So uh, an example here, in, figure, uh, in the figure, triangle ABC is similar to triangle FDG. Uh, Find the value of X. Um, so X is, in this case, an angle by on this angle bisector, uh, and so it's going to be proportional to this one. So uh, X over 8, we could say, so if we go left triangle over right triangle, uh, should match the same ratio. And then notice that AB that's up here, uh, that corresponds to FD, 12 there. Uh, so we could say 15 over 12. So we could cross multiply and solve. We could do... Um, uh, 12 times x and 15 times 8. That'll make the numbers a little bit bigger. If you, I mean, if you have a calculator, maybe you don't care at all. But um, we could actually reduce this right side. We could say x over 8 equals, and we could divide both those by 3, and so that becomes 5 fourths. If we wanted to do that first, right? So that is an option. Just want to pose that. So then you could cross multiply and get 4x equals 8 times 5, uh, which is 40, and so divide by 4 and x is 10 in that case, and that would be um, proportional.
Another example here uh, in the figure, angle or triangle LJK is similar to triangle SQR. And so to find the value of X, well in here, in both of these cases, we have medians. They go to the midpoint of the, it goes from one corner to the midpoint of the opposite segment, one corner to the midpoint of the opposite segment. And so um, we know that um, those are, those medians are going to be proportional to the sides. This one's a little weird. We have the numbers on the medians and we have these, um, but recognize that this is a median. So if that's five here, that's five. And so I can know that full length is 10. If this is X, that's another X. I know that this full length would be two X. We could do it with that. We could also just do it with, with those little pieces as well. So let me show you that maybe here. Uh, I'll do 12 over eight. So left triangle over right triangle. So 12 over eight equals. And so we could do just X over five, or we could do two X, which is that full length over five plus five, which is 10. Um, you could do it either way. And that could immediately reduce and become X over five, right? That two kind of could cancel out. Um, so we could reduce both sides of this and this could become the left side. We could divide both sides by both top and bottom here by four. And so this becomes three halves equals on the right side, we could divide both by two X over five. Um, if we just want to simplify those fractions first and then cross multiply, we don't have to, we could have done it right as they were and just gotten bigger numbers and, and divided up. So in this case, we're going to get two X equals 15. So X is 15 over two which is 7.5. All right, so on this second page, um, an interesting problem here. Liliana holds her arm straight out in front of her with her elbows straight and her thumb pointing up. Closing one eye, she aligns the edge of her thumb with the car she is sighting. Next, she switches eyes without moving her head uh, or her arm. The car appears to jumps, jump four car widths. Uh, if Liliana's arm is about 10 times longer than the distance between her eyes uh, and the car is about 5.5 feet wide, estimate the distance from Liliana's thumb to the car. So weird problem here. Um, but yeah, this, this car is 5.5 feet wide. I guess we know that for some reason. Um, and then, yeah, kind of weird if you do this with your thumb, if you, you can try it, you can look at something. And if you look at it over one eye and see how far it jumps um, with the other eye, what we're, what we're seeing is something like this. The, the car is... Um, you know, this is kind of a perception of what we're seeing. Um, so this whole width is 5.5. So if it jumps, uh, what was it, four car widths, um, so there are, it would be four times 5.5 would be this distance here. Um, and so, you know, this drawing is a little bit weird, but this distance here would be four times 5.5, four times 5.5. Uh, and so if we multiply that out, we get uh, 22. And then this distance here, the distance between our eyes, this it, all it says is that this distance for, uh, to her thumb is about 10 times the distance between her eyes. These are her eyeballs over here, kind of creepy. Um, but that would mean that this distance here is one. Uh, and this is certainly not drawn to scale. Um, so, uh, but that's a, the situation that we're drawing and we're supposed to figure out here what X is. Well, it turns out each of these N and X are altitudes. So, and these triangles are similar. So these angles are gonna be the same as long as we're, you know, these, this, you're looking straight at it. The, this this plane or this you know, here would be parallel to that. And so we have alternate interior, a couple angles the same, some vertical angles. We can show that those triangles are similar. And, and it's kind of where we're even using different units, but they should follow in the same ratio, whatever these units are uh, to those units. So we can set up a ratio here of like X over 10. If we want to put X on top, we could have done 10 over X if we wanted. But I'm going to do X over 10 would equal, and then this is the, the base of that, um, that triangle. So this would be 22 over and then this would be one and so then we can cross multiply and get that x is 220 uh, and so if this is 22 this is 220 since it's a 10 to 1 ratio uh, and 220 and that distance would be in feet uh, and so that's how far her thumb is from those cars kind of a weird problem all right another theorem here an angle bisector in a triangle separates the opposite side so from this angle bisector this opposite side into two segments that are proportional to the lengths of the other two sides so uh, if jm is an angle bisector of, of jkl triangle jkl and that angle in particular then what we can say here is that km over ml is actually going to be proportional to uh, this side, KJ over JL, KJ over JL or LJ, uh, 
AJ over I'll guess we'll say in the same direction LJ. So that's another proportional relationship we can set up. This side, or this part over that part is equal to that part over that part. This is just with an angle bisector. Um, so we can use that. Uh, this was a little typo from up there. Uh, find x in this case. So we can say x over uh, in this case six is equal to fifteen over 9. And we could go ahead and cross multiply and we get 9x equals 15 times 6 would be 90. And so we can divide by 9 and uh, get that x is 10. That would give us that measurement. Um, another example of one here, so this one's a little bit weirder. Uh, we can set up the same relationship. So this is our angle bisector. We could say x over and then QS is 18, so this little piece right here would be 18 minus X. So I could say X over 18 minus X, that's what TS is, is equal to 6 over 14. And so from here, we could cross multiply. Again, we could also reduce first if we want to make those numbers a little bit smaller. I could um, you know, simplify this, make that 3 over... Uh, seven if we wanted to uh, or if not that's fine you can just go straight away and so I could do six times 18 minus X is equal to four, uh, sorry, 14 X grew on me and so then um, distribute distribute and so six times 18 gives us 108 minus 6 X is equal to 14 X add 6x to both sides plus 6x and so we get 108 is equal to 20x divide by 20 divide by 20 and we're left with x is if you do 108 divided by 20 you'll get 5.4